suicide was quite real. Now, this morning, there are fresh reports. Jones ordered a mass suicide. 914 people were murdered or drank Kool-Aid laced with poison. A lot of the children were crying. And uh, he was telling them not to tell the children that they were dying, not to tell them it was painful, and that people had to die with dignity. In November 1978, reporters around the world broke the news that Jim Jones and more than 900 of his followers died. By the late 1960s and early 70s, the streets of America erupted in violence and civil strife. The war in Vietnam, civil rights marches, and political assassinations played out on television. Out of this turmoil, thousands of Americans flocked to hear the sermons of a charismatic preacher named Jim Jones. A fiery orator, Jones's early speeches were a mixture of socialist ideals and Christian redemption. If there was anything universal about the temple experience and what it was that drew people, it was, on some level, we were all wanting to belong. Some turn to the temple because they need help. Others want to serve humanity. Whatever they need, Jim Jones and his people's temple seem to have it. The only way it's going to get better is through us and what we can do in the world. And, and that was everything from gradual social change to violent revolution to um, cleaning up after nuclear fallout. Jim Jones claimed special powers to heal the sick and dying. Staged healings were a popular attraction at temple meetings. A guy like my dad found out what you wanted to hear and see and showed it to you. Whatever you were looking for, or wherever you were running from, or running toward, Dad had an uncanny ability to hook into that. It's exhilarating and very attractive. Once you get hooked by that, it's really hard to uh, get unhooked. As his popularity grew, Jim Jones preached less about the Bible and more about social activism. He called himself a prophet, a savior who would guide, protect, and watch over his followers. I want you to be like I am. I want you to become what I am. I want you to enjoy the fearlessness that I have, the courage that I have, the compassion that I have, the love that I have, the all-encompassing mercy that I am. I want you to be what I am and something greater. Jim Jones's devoted followers referred to him as father. Many signed over their paychecks, possessions, even their homes. At the height of his power, a darker side of Jim Jones emerged. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> okay, let me adjust my little tinfoil hat here <laughs> and get ready to to speak some knowledge here, okay? Let me speak my mind, okay? Um, Let me go ahead and just, you know, introduce myself. For those who do, don't know me and don't know on my channel, um, I've been on YouTube doing this YouTube channel thing for um, not that very long a few months as far as doing the um doing my channel bill okay but i've been on youtube obviously i've been on here for quite some time um uh because the whole purpose of me coming on here um like everybody else was for entertainment you know to sit back and kick back and have have a good time you know and watch youtube videos you know what i'm saying um so i want to get get into that to say this um about a year ago um there was a a news feed that came by came by while I was watching YouTube um notification about this certain individual that supposedly got um I don't know I don't want to say if it's a deaf hoax or whatever but anyways uh, about the Nipsey Hussle story, okay? 
that's what prompt me to be, you know, let me figure this out because I knew this and that. Okay, all this stuff is making sense. You know, let me go ahead and just cross this off because that's what I figured. That's what happened. And sure enough, there was at least a dozen people that have made videos within a day or so, 24 hours of this. Okay. Uh, there's one in particular channel that caught my attention, that caught my eye. Um, and I was so fascinated. I mean, I just cannot believe this channel had so much knowledge and, and, and just seemed like that everybody was attentive and, and, participating and they had questions but this channel particularly was not it, it wasn't geared towards what the topic was but they were talking about what was going on and that was with the Nipsey Hussle thing okay and so of course that's you know a popular topic so of course with I guess that channel being what it is um that, you know, as far as like, you know, in your face, let's discuss this, you know, what I'm saying, we're going to talk about it. So I stayed there. I listened. I learned, I learned a whole lot. And I, I gained a lot of knowledge. And I appreciate, I appreciate the people that, you know, that were in that, on that channel, that taught me a lot. I'm I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to downplay anybody. Okay. So I want to get that straight. But what I am going to say is that me personally, I'm glad that I kind of like opened up and I kind of like pushed back a little bit. You know, I did. I, I, that's why I played that Jim Jones video at the beginning because this is kind of what this reminds me of I'm not drinking that Kool-Aid anymore okay I'm not going to go in that cult men mentality because that seems to me that that's what a lot of people are doing and I'm not trying to say that to say that is a bad thing um per se because maybe in a way it is because there needs to be some type of order in a world that we're living in a disorder, okay? And what I mean by that is that we are already in a, this, we are already born of this earth, we are already born in this world where it's gonna be chaos and disorder. We have no choice but to live by their order. I have no choice, you have no choice, okay? So, what I think that we're giving that option is if we have that third eye and we have that veil that's lifted up off our, our faces, if we choose to go that direction or go this direction or stay where we're at, that's the choice is up to us. Okay. Um, I came into this very um, fragile, uh, and very frigidity, meaning should I speak up or should I keep my mouth shut? Okay. I'm keeping my, if I keep my mouth shut, that means that I'm not expressing who I am. Okay. You know, in my real life, I express who I am. I'm going to get my point across. Okay. So why should that be any different on a YouTube channel? Um, I don't get how people fall so fast for, um, the, you know, I'm saying just gullible stuff. Okay. Um, you know, I, you know what, I've been gullible to some, to some extent, but at the same time, I've also kept my eye open. And just sit there and just gathered information, enough information to know what I need so I can move on. Okay. Because I'm not going to stay and drink the Kool-Aid. I'm not going to stay there <laughs> and be a part of the bullshit. Okay. 
I'm not going to do it. What I am going to do is I'm going to continue to preach or continue to voice my opinion on my channel. Um, nobody's going to shut me up as far as if I call into a live show, you're not going to cut me off. If you don't want to hear what I have to say, then all you got to do is click or unsubscribe or just, you know what I'm saying, just whatever. I don't care. I think I stated before, as a matter of fact, I got it written in my channel description. I'm not here for likes or dislikes. I don't give a damn about no damn thumbs up. You could thumbs down me all day. I don't care. All right? Because I'm still going to be here and I'm still going to speak my mind. Okay? Um, now, as you can see, you know, I, I've, I've, feel strongly about the Masons. Um, people don't like to bring up the Masons. They think that that's a touchy subject, but let me tell you something. I eat and shit just like they do. Okay. I don't have any proof that anyone is a Mason. Just like they don't have proof that I may be a Mason. Okay. And it really doesn't even matter, really. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I don't care about what other person thinks about this channel and that channel. Okay, because them pe those people are going to do what they do, just like I'm doing what I'm going to do. Okay? Now, whether you choose to uh, believe whatever that is they're promoting or whatever they do, that's on you. Or that's whatever you choose to do. Okay, but I'm speaking my piece and I'm going to say my piece. Okay, I just want my subscribers or people out there listening. You know, you, you don't have to be my subscriber. Sub, excuse me. You do not have to be my subscriber to hear what I have to say. Okay, I'm just putting it out there just the facts and no filter. OK. I'm not going to sit up on somebody's channel. And be shunned or be told to be quiet or have my message retracted because I wanted to speak my piece. So that's why I'm doing this on my channel. OK. You know what? <laughs> I'm, you know, I, look, I am a very down to earth person. I'm very frank. I'm very cordial and I'm very respectful. I never once, never once disrespected anybody on this, on this panel or excuse me on this channel never once have I ever done that and I will never disrespect anybody but I will state my opinion and sometimes opinions hurt people or sometimes opinions people don't like people's opinions but that that, that does not mean that I'm disrespecting anybody or anybody's uh, beliefs I'm just stating my opinion um So, you know, there's going to be a lot of comments and there's going to be a lot of dislikes and, and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, I don't give a shit about that crap. I don't. You could thumbs down me all day long. It does not matter because at the, at the end of the day and at the end of this video, I spoke my mind and I spoke my piece. Bottom line. All right. Because conscious daughter. Didn't drink the Kool-Aid, okay? I threw that Kool-Aid right back in your face. <laughs> right back in your face. And with that, I'm going to end, end this video. Um, and once again, I'm going to say thank you for all the love that everybody showed me. Um, and I appreciate the love to continue. Um, and I want to say this, and I and I don't 
believe that I said this before. Um, I, I, I'm not into all this name calling and all this, you know, you're a gatekeeper, you're a shill and all that kind of stuff. I don't get that. I've never even heard those terms until I came to YouTube and li listen to somebody's chat or listen to somebody's channel talk about those terms. So I really, <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. All I know is that I'm a human being and I'm speaking my mind and I'm practicing my first amendment. Damn all that shill and all that gatekeeper shit. I don't know nothing about that. You know, that's some shit that I don't even dabble into. I just know, like I said, I speak my mind and I have a first amendment that I do know. Keep on truth seeking. Keep on, um, Finding what you feel that is a truth. Keep on searching. And um, don't be gullible and don't fall for the bullshit. Okay. But if you feel deep down in your heart, um, what you feel is a truth. And I'm talking about if you don't believe my truth, if you don't believe what I'm promoting is a truth, then you don't you don't have to look at my channel. You don't have to watch my channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing what I feel is the truth. Okay? So with that, you know, peace and thank you again.